We are on the Clarion River. Oh boy! Woo -hoo -hoo. All this stuff is private lands right now. All that stuff is private lands. So we can't stay there. Always an adventure when I come along for something. Holy cow. Everybody and welcome to Outdoor Adventures. I'm Frozen and thanks for joining me today. Today we are doing a kayak trip and when I say we, I mean me, Rick, Todd, and Jeremy. A little after 10 o'clock Friday morning and we are on the Clarion River. We took a shuttle, we ran into some technical issues. <laughs> some lady I guess drove in a ditch and they had like 90 emergency responders, a fire truck, an ambulance, the whole bit. Uh, she's okay. I uh, saw her getting back in the ambulance, everything's all right. But we're gonna launch momentarily here and there's a lot of people about ready to go so we're trying to get out before they get on the river. Anyway, Clarion River, here we go. This is the Ridgeway launch point. And we're gonna go back down to Cooksburg, is that correct? Cooksburg, So we dropped the cars off. Took a shuttle up here about an hour, hour and a half because of all the uh, emergency vehicles with that lady. So we're gonna be floating down river. The trip's gonna be about three days. Two nights. Getting back in Sunday at some point. It's gonna be a great trip. I can't wait. I've been looking forward to getting out. And then what's funny is when I get back on Sunday, I'm pretty much gonna take a shower, wash my clothes, charge the batteries, and I'm heading out on another trip to the Kahana Trail to do the 73 mile loop there. So the high for this trip should be about 72. Lows should be around the 60 degree mark. Perfect weather. I got the Costco quilt with me. It's gonna be freaking awesome. Now we are expecting some rain for tomorrow, but it should be all right. We've got some rain here with us. So if you guys see me doing anything wrong, this is only my second kayak trip. I did another one with these same guys last year. Had a great time, so they invited me back out. But <laughs> I'm really looking forward to this next week. It's getting out of work for a little bit, taking it easy. This is the man that's lending me the kayak for the weekend. Thanks a lot, Rick. Thanks for inviting me. Over here is Jeremy, a wall explorer. He doesn't do the YouTube thing anymore, but yeah. Oh, you got an Instagram? What's uh, what's your Instagram? A wall explorer. There you go. Yeah, a lot faster than the inlet at the reservoir last year. All right, so we are gonna take a little lunch break up on this island right here. Pretty neat. I have some mac and cheese, cup of mac and cheese. It's gonna be really good. Deluxe. Mm -mm. So on these ones, they actually have a fill line that you can see. So I just end up bringing the whole container. Now, I've been eating these on backpacking trips. They have the cheese with them too, but I don't know, a little heavy, but they're really, really good. They're from uh, Kraft makes these. Rick, I am loving the outfit. Technically, you look like the Joker. Yep. I want to make sure I stand out when I'm swimming. Yeah. Well, when I'm when I, my kayak tips over and I'm floating down the river. <laughs> At least you look good for the coroner. So we have two paths. We have this one and this path right over here. I think we're going to take the left one. We saw a couple people in canoes and kayaks dragging their stuff, so it looks like it's kind of shallow. And it's been shallow, as you can see, especially right over there. So, go okay, this way, and hopefully we end up at the right place. <laughs> yeah, we're moving nicely down this river. Perfect weather for this, too. I mean, the sun's out, it's partly cloudy. It's perfect.
swifter than the Allegheny Reservoir, I'll tell you that. This is this is a lot of fun. And minimal effort too. Really cool. And here's the canoers up here. They pass us during lunch. All eyes are on you, Jeremy. <laughs> right next to the dead beaver. Oh, National Forest over this way? Allegheny National Forest for those that are wondering. That was so freaking cool. Hopefully that footage turned out well for you guys. It went right up in that tree over there. I don't know if it's nested up or not. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome. Can you believe how big those fuckers are? Yeah, those birds, they're huge. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, you can see them right up there. Ultra light, bro. <laughs> when we do come up to the, I think it's called the XYZ Rapids, I will put my, my jacket back on, my life vest. So this is kind of neat. So the river took a split right and left. So I'm on the left path, Jeremy's on the right path. We're doing a little race. You definitely beat me. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, left path was definitely the wrong path for this. <laughs> oh well. Alright, should be good in just a second here. Get past this side. Water's perfect temperature. Just perfectly refreshing. Alright, so it is a little deeper here, so I did put the life vest back on. It's actually really deep. It's uh up almost to the top of the panel. And when I say really deep, I mean like five foot, but still enough. So it's almost 2.30 right now. Almost at about nine miles. So we started here in Ridgeway. Uh-huh. And now we're here at Portland Mills. Okay. How many miles is that? That was about nine, you about said? About nine. Like when, once we get here, we'll be nine. Okay. And then if we go to Irwin, that's another mile, nine miles. From X, Y, Z Rapids. Okay, Z. And then there. Or we could camp. Camp after Y? Do, a, do five more miles. And then stay past um, Arroyo. I don't okay. know how to pronounce that. Arroyo. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. Are we still in National Forest there? Yeah. Yeah, we want to make sure we're legal with this. Yep, the forest is on. Um, you can't, you can't, you guys can't camp in the game land, so keep that in mind. All right, cool. Oh boy! Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, about 4:30. Looking for camp. Think we just found it on this little island over here, so we're gonna check it out. All right, right over here. This is probably going to be camp. Wood for days up here. That's awesome. So nice, beautiful, beautiful campsite. Way better for tents though. That we did end up finding three spots for hammocks. But first priority is to get the hammocks hung, make sure everybody works here, and then chill for the night. It's going to be awesome. And just like that, the hammock and tarp are up. I think it's supposed to rain tonight but we will have to see. Getting a different dream hammock. Um, the bug net is just getting abrazed way too much for my liking, so don't recommend the .67 netting at all. Um, like I said, I when I bought, ordered this hammock, I ordered the netting custom. They don't usually offer this, but they did it for me as a custom order. 
and I would just stick with the stock stuff because that was what was on the war bonnet and never had a problem with this. This stuff is getting stuck on literally everything and I just don't like it. But I do sleep better in the dream hammock and war bonnet refuses to offer a lighter material or else I'd probably look at the Eldorado. If they could have it in a 1.2, you know, a blue Robic XL 1.2 Eldorado without being a 11 foot, you know, just the regular Blackbird style instead of the XLC, I'd jump on that in a heartbeat. But Dream Hammock is also very, very comfortable as well. Anyway, I'm hungry. I'm going to get some food going. All right, Jeremy, what are we looking at here? I am boiling some water here on the Bush Buddy stove. Bush Buddy. We do some uh, Mountain House mac and cheese. Oh my god. And some Hormel pepperoni mixed in. Perfect. And then uh, share everyone's gourmet. And Rick here. is Rick's making cooking. some crazy stuff over here now too. Now Todd actually has a what the knockoff, but it looks pretty yep. much exactly the same. Yeah. This is the solo stove. Yep. Amazon. Interesting. But Rick is making some crazy concoction here. All it needs now is a little bit of peanut butter, I think. What do you think, Rick? <laughs> no. Where's the ketchup at? <laughs> there is just a ton of firewood here. Plus, two by fours. <laughs> I really lucked out on this campsite. Whoever was here before, man, that's awesome. Well, Jeremy has switched from a hammock to a tent which is becoming a trend. A lot of hammock campers are converting to tents and that's totally fine. It's just whatever you sleep the most comfortable in. I wish I could sleep in tents because I think they're a little bit easier to handle and set up and all that stuff, but you know, I just prefer the hammock. Say hello to the new beef stroganoff for me. Fettuccine Northside. Holy crap, it's delicious. Beautiful camp spot, must say. There's the main river down there, and then it offshoots into this. Or is this the main river? Does it keep going? I forget. Yeah, it keeps good. going that way. Okay. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Looking forward to tomorrow. Probably going to do a big day tomorrow. Try to get pretty close to the car. We'll see. We have some regulations that we have to follow, uh, and we can't stay in the game lands and private property and all that other jazz. So. We're actually in Allegheny National Forest right now, so perfectly legal to camp here. It's almost too hot for a fire. So Rick is deathly afraid of spiders and snakes. So Todd put a little rubber snake under there, so he's down with the water. This should be funny. <laughs> How's that snake under your hammock? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so we started at this ridgeway and then now we're at arroyo arroyo we're on that there's a little island there yeah looks like that at arroyo it's about 14 miles yep. all right and so rapids here right tomorrow and then morning. tomorrow we're gonna have rapids right out the door x y z x y and z tomorrow and then they have excellent camping right here in Irwin run so we'll be done for the day perfect yeah. <laughs> and then we'll have what like 30 miles to go third to breakfast tomorrow yeah. plus there might there's a bar that there's we were thinking bar. about our, but we'll see our, our bear uh, guide with the banjo told us there's a nice burger bar with beers and burgers so we might hit that up however none of us have cash except for Rick <laughs> so if they don't take cards we're kind of screwed so if you can't be so we'll see if you can't be self-sufficient so then don't <laughs> come out in the woods <laughs> anyway we're probably gonna try to pull a 19 or a 20 mile day out tomorrow and you know we'll see what happens especially if we can get to the bar and get some good food you know, just a chill trip with the guys this time you know it's pretty crazy the amount of stuff that's going to need to be planned for the uh the through hike next year actually i was just thinking about it i think all the budget stuff's ready to go and uh, i'm really looking forward to it but man I needed this trip and I really need the next trip solo on the Kahana when I get back from this trip. Because man, life is just seems to be spiraling out of control right now. 
those of you who have been in stressful situations can understand where I'm talking about. The outdoors just fixes you right up. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But, you know, usually a couple hours into these kind of trips, you just, you can exhale. You can release all that stress and just get it out. It's absolutely amazing. Anyway, I think today was really, really good. Way better than the, uh, the first trip. I kind of have the, uh, <laughs> the paddling technique down from the last trip, which is great, because I didn't know what the heck I was doing last year around this time in the uh, Allegheny Reservoir. But it's way easier paddling downstream, and I had a lot of fun today. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow, getting some higher mileage in, getting some good food, having some good chats. It's going to be awesome. And, uh, you know, first long, high-mileage kayak trip. Anyway, I've been out here for a while, just thinking to myself. Should probably get back to the guys. And we'll settle down for the night. And just like that, it is somehow 9.30. And I've been ready for bed for about 30 minutes now. Todd's been ready for, what, about an hour and a half? At least. Four hours. <laughs> That's what happens when you wake up at 3.30 a.m. Yeah, he had a long drive from Ohio. I'm coming from two hours away. Jeremy's coming from New York, so. Same with Rick. But, uh, yeah. Should be an even better night. I'm looking forward to some great sleep. So, with that, I'll see you in the morning. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Oh, it's early. It's like it's not even six o'clock yet. <laughs> and the birds are really, really loud here, so I just decided to get up. Anyway, slept really good last night. Uh, real quiet, real peaceful. Really, really needed it. I'm zonked out right now. I'm just so uh, refreshed, I guess, and I'll be even better after coffee, but. Nice and relaxed, it's great. Anyway, I'm gonna get the, uh, I'm the only one up right now, but I'm gonna get the fire going and uh, probably have some coffee and come down here and sit by the water maybe. See how it goes. It's not raining yet, so that's good. <laughs> I'm trying to cut down on, you know, the plastic baggies and everything, so I'm actually starting to cook inside the north sides because it's foil inside the packet and inside the little paper for the instant oatmeal. It's been working out great for a couple trips. Don't know why it took me this long to do it. If you notice on these, if you're concerned about getting your water level correctly, just above the microwave fill line, that's where you want your water. And then make sure you get the corners really well, or else you'll just have cement. I'm going to have to start calling you Captain Cook or something. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You cooked for us yesterday, too. Because Rick is the man. Well, I'm really cooking for myself. I just have Rick's going to eat... I'm gonna extra. eat all that spam. A big thing of spam. Big thing of hash browns. <laughs> wow. <coughs> Jesus. Fried spam, cheese, and hash browns. In a wrap. In a wrap. Or a tortilla, so you guys don't tell me. It's not called a wrap, it's called a tortilla. <laughs> Do it, Rick. <laughs> Take a big freaking bite of it. I can't stand watching people eat. Come on, Rick. So I'm not going to eat. Come on, Rick. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, gotcha. <laughs>
All right, it's about eight o'clock. Just getting the kayaks all packed up over here. We're gonna be on the water by 8.30. That's awesome. I loaded up with sunscreen today. I can't risk getting burnt again. <laughs> My thighs just have never seen the light of day. I'm not like Gary, I don't wear short shorts. But, uh, oh, it's gonna be a nice day. We're supposed to hit rapids like right off the bat. So that should be a lot of fun. Anyway, I got all my camera batteries charged last night. So, see how it goes. I can't wait to get back out there though. Back on the river by 8.30. Pretty cool. So today we're gonna try to do a big mileage day. My biggest ever, but you know, yesterday was my biggest ever too, so. I'm gonna try to do, I think 20 miles is what we wanna do. Possibly stop at a bar for some burgers and beer along the way. And I think with this early of a start, we're actually probably able to do that and still get to camp. Now, we're going past the state game lands today, so I'm not allowed to camp anywhere in the state game lands in Pennsylvania. So, we are allowed to, however, camp in the state park immediately after that. But I think we have to stay at uh, pre-existing campsites. I think it's like a $5 fee or a $2 fee or something. So we gotta check in on all that. Um, so we'll see. Or we just camp in the, uh, the National Forest again. I don't want to hit you. <laughs> Spin it around. I'm not sure what we gotta do over here, but the water's so low it's rushing down in between these two rocks. <laughs> Is this what we're supposed to do? Follow wreck? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Rapids. There's a big Z on the rock in front of me. And we stay to the right on this one. I actually don't know why. Why am I going first? <laughs> uh, It's a little wet now. Oh my god, Rick's got stuck. <laughs> and Z. Okay, so we might do something stupid. But hey, you only live once, right? Alright, go ahead, Rick. Tell my family I love that. <laughs> oh, water's gonna be so cold. Oh my god. <laughs> How cold is it? Freezing. <laughs> That's what I figured. Alright. Here we go. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Whoa! Lost the crock! <laughs> that is freezing! I'll tell you what. That was pretty darn awesome. <laughs> Best part of the trip for me so far. Ah, oh, that was cool. Water's cold, putting it lightly. All right, we're just catching up with the guys. Rick's uh, getting some water out of his kayak. I think Todd's doing some fishing. Put that right up here. So. That was awesome. Mm -mm. Spam. I like all relaxed and kick off my shoes. Meat push pop. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I was like, I don't know what the hurry is. Probably still a six or seven hour paddle. Mm. Well, the burger place is right here. 
right behind me, but we can't get up the shore. <laughs> We're not sure <laughs> if there's a way up it. I don't even think it's open yet, to be honest with you. But we'll see. Maybe there's something over here. Oh, two to ten. Oh, that sucks. I wanted the belly buster burger. Yeah, two. Two o'clock is when they open. We don't have time for that. It's only 11. Oh, well. But it is cash only. Just FYI, there's an ATM inside. Saturday is two to ten. All right, well, we tried. We gave it a shot. Darn. All right, Rick, what'd you say? You think we did about eight miles? Yeah, we, we already passed eight miles. Eight past eight miles. It's about 11.30 right now. We're gonna stop for lunch soon as we see something that we can bank on. Okay, a little after 12 o'clock. We think we're at nine miles for the day so far. Like I said, we're trying to do 19, 20, somewhere around there. Uh, we do have to get to the state park first to be able to camp with all this we are officially now out of Allegheny National Forest and into the state game lands which are not allowed to camp for whatever reason but keep it legit and having a great time uh, the sun's starting to come out it was really humid when we shoved off from lunch but now the, uh, the wind's coming through here and it feels really really good so no complaints from me whatsoever Just giant 500 calorie lunch and feeling sluggish but I know those calories will be energy pretty soon here. Whee! <laughs> Hello Mr. Weasel. It's swimming away. Thing's gone. <laughs> He's eating something up there. He's actually right there. Just one on the shore. <laughs> Going to his little den. Gorgeous day. Water's still really, really shallow. But, you know, we're, I think we've had to get out maybe once or twice today and, you know, move the kayaks along. So it hasn't been bad at all. And the, like I said, the water level's really low kind of tell but man it would be like a, a completely different trip is what the guys were saying with uh, you know the water level is a little higher so hey maybe we come back down here and do this again sometime Out of the game lands yet? Yeah. Okay, so we're back in the national forest. It's like 10 to 11 miles. Tomorrow. 10 to 11 miles tomorrow sounds perfect. Yeah. Then we'd, if it goes like today, we'd be done by like one. Um, yeah, that works. Then I can get home and <laughs> wash my stuff and go on the next trip tomorrow <laughs> or the next day. That's awesome. What a great week. I wish I could do this every week. <laughs> now we did get an updated forecast. It's not supposed to rain at least during the day. But it is getting a little dark out here, a lot of clouds, a little gray skies to be honest, and it, the temperature dropped quite a bit. So who knows, maybe we'll uh, get a nice rainstorm tonight. <laughs> Holy crap! That's crazy. That is so cool. <laughs> that is one huge bird. Wish I get a better shot up, but it's way up in the tree up there. It's 
So cool. Alright, the trip is becoming interesting. It's starting to rain. It's a little after 4 o'clock, we think, maybe a little 4.30 or so. We're at the state park that we said we were going to go to. But we didn't consider that, you know, we'd have to walk down a trail to get to the designated campsites. We can't just leave our kayaks out. Uh, here's the... Here's the campground right here. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so here is the deal. We are, we can't stay at the state park. There's just, there's no way we can do it. There's nowhere to hang. Uh, there's a couple spots for tents, but again, our kayaks will just be sitting out, you know, in the middle of the, the launch uh, all night. So yeah, I don't trust that. So what we're trying to do is we realized we're a lot further along on this trip than we had planned and we remembered that we parked about a mile up, um, maybe a mile and a half up from where we've got the shuttle pickup. So technically we only have about, at this point, seven to eight more miles left. So what we're thinking of doing, and this is still tentative, we have no idea if this is what's going to end up happening or not. All this stuff is private lands right now. All that stuff is private lands. So we can't stay there. After the private lands, it turns back into the Cooks Forest State Park, I believe. You know, that's where we park the cars. So we're gonna try to shoot for the cars. They're gonna stay the night. I'm just gonna head home because my drive is nowhere near as long as theirs. And I'll have another couple days to get ready for my big trip to the Kahana. Uh, other than that, Unless we see something off the side here that um, that says camping or something, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. But uh, we either should have started down further or up further to make this trip work. But you know, stuff happens. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Now we could have camped like anywhere along the shore, but again, there's private lands. So we don't want to get busted because there's houses all along here, and we don't want anybody to call the ranger police, call Smokey the Bear, whatever they're gonna do. So, we'll see what happens. Man, these ducks are mad at me. I'm just going because the other sides are shallow, so I'm just following them and they're really mad. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not, I swear. Watch, and then they're gonna fly directly in a straight line and still be in my path. Thing's gonna attack me. It's gonna like fly out, peck my eyes out. Oh. <laughs> it's the Clarion River. Paddle of perseverance. <laughs> or, or punishment. punishment. <laughs> I think we figured it out, looked on Google Maps and mapped back to the parking lot, it says 4.1 miles, so Rick, next to me is Rick, and he's just completely delirious, he's been singing, so they made up a game, right, it's called, what do what you call it, Outdoor Adventures Bingo, so what do I say, every time I say Z-Packs, that's Bingo, Z-Packs is the free square, and then there's Foot Care, Foot Care, well, there's different ones for different boards. Right. And there's the... Um, IT band, that's a good one. I'm lost. I'm lost. <laughs> what else? What else? We never made you it. Actually, oh, I thought you guys like wrote no, it down like shit. It, we were thinking of squares to use. It's because I say certain phrases in my videos all the time. And when I'm out here with these guys, you know, I still say those phrases. So on, uh, okay. on Friday, I accidentally said Z-Packs. And because <laughs> I was talking about my hat. <laughs> and uh, Todd goes bingo, so yeah, it's been a thing for a while, <laughs> Anyway, 4.1 miles, we're getting delirious, but still having fun. Okay, it's almost 7.30, looks like we have 1.9 miles remaining. Averaging 2 miles an hour puts it in at 8.30, which is right before dark. So, <laughs> we shall see how that goes. That's if everything goes perfect. It is really quiet. There's no one else on the river except for us now. It is awesome, I must say. So we're about half a mile, I think, away from the car. And on the left side of us, we're seeing all these campsites now. 
However, I don't know if they're legal, but we are already, like I said, a half a mile away from the car, so we're just gonna just get to the cars tonight. It's a little bit before 8.30. And it was a nice, quiet paddle. I had a good time on that one. So, see if we can actually find the car. One and two, see if we can get the kayaks up to the cars. That might be a little tricky. All right, guys, so right after this turn should be our cars. Just around the river bend, says Rick. I had a great time. That was an awesome trip where it ended up nailing out 28 miles today. So, wow, that was what an amazing kayak trip. I'll tell you what, first long distance kayak trip, and I learned a lot the first trip, but I learned even more this trip. Had a great time with the guys. It was freaking amazing. We had a great night's sleep. What did you think, Jeremy? Did you have a good time? Awesome trip. Yeah, it's always an adventure with outdoor adventures. So guys, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. Check the description box for more info, like the parking lots, the campsites, GPS data, etc., etc. And find time and go on your own adventures. I'll see you on the river. any worse. Hey Rick, why are you on the ground, bro? Uh, spiders and snakes. No, I, I think your chair just fell over. I always miss everything. We missed the snake because I was down there filthy. Oh, there he goes! 